Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Festival of Football, Path to Glory, the Euros. It is here. It is finally here. It's a big day in the world of football and on FIFA because we have a huge promo of Festival of Football going on for the next month or so with this Path to Glory cards, with these Path to Glory items being released today as well. So I want to take a look at this loading screen and explain how these cards are going to get upgraded and what these cards are about because we learned a lot from that information yesterday and also talk about the hints that were on the loading screen as well. And of course, we'll also go over what kind of SBCs, objective and market moves and content we could see today on this game per usual. But it's a very hype Friday and EA Sports have a lot of potential to make it even more hype with the content they could be releasing today. So first things first, let's take a look at these confirmed Path to Glory cards. Now today we're going to be getting a lot of information as well. We should have a web page detailing everything that's going to go on during Festival of Football. This is only the first thing that we know about Festival of Football is these Path to Glory cards. And these are our hints from the loading screen. I think everybody's really curious about that card in the middle. I think that's Jack Grealish or Phil Foden, either of which would be insanely hype. And again, what I want to point out here with these cards are, look at the numbers and the ratings. 94 rated, 95 dribbling, 93 physical. High 90s to mid 90s stats on all of these cards. That is what it needs to be. Since we are a post team of the season, all the cards that need to be coming out have to be high level, right? In the 90s or above. And the, the stats have to be juiced. That literally is the only option. And we'll talk about that later on too, in terms of pack weight. But Phil Foden, I think is a very favorite card to be the one here in the middle. Potentially Verratti, potentially Jorginho, Bernardeschi, Barella. Uh, you know, some of these cards already have team of the seasons and like higher rated items. So we're unsure of who it could be. But a lot of options for the center mid from... Uh, Italy, but then also this Argentinian 93 physicality card kind of shows us that, hey, Copa America is going to have a play in this too, even though we already thought so. Um, they're definitely going to be involved. Uh, Giovanni Lo Celso, potentially, you know, or um, Paredes from PSG, or maybe Acuna, right? So plenty of potential with these cards right here. Now let's talk about these upgrades really fast. You guys probably have deciphered this already, but I want to talk to you about it a little bit. So let's say a card starts today as a 93 rated, three star skills, four star weak foot, three wins, they get a plus two, four wins, plus one, five wins, plus one, and that sixth win, they get five star skills, five star weak foot. So the only issue here is it's going to be very hard to get six wins because a team could potentially win the Euros only winning five games, and they might not even get that sixth win because, of course, the th first three matches are... Uh, in the group stages. So a team could technically advance with one win and two draws. And so this is very interesting. I feel like EA should have rolled this back. It should have been two wins, three wins, four wins, and then five wins for the skill moves and weak foots because, uh, you know, this is going to be very exclusive, I think. I don't know how many teams are going to get to that six win threshold, uh, except for maybe the team that wins it all. So that's going to be very interesting. I see what they're doing here, um, but I think they could have rocked, you know, the, the requirements back a little bit more. But again, the, we're probably not going to have the first upgrades to these cards until the beginning of July or late June after match day three, of course, um, when teams that could have gone 3-0 and in the group stages. So we're going to have to wait a little bit for these boosts to start happening. But I do expect these cards to be released in packs today. And just like we've seen with a lot of the other squads, you know, team of season squads were 15 players. You know, earlier promo squads in the year were 11 players. So I'm really hoping today that they release a squad of 15 players plus. Hopefully it's 15. It probably will be 11. And I don't really know if they, they technically could release two squads. They could have a promo team this week and a promo team next week. But we'll probably figure out that information today as well. So I would expect 11 to 15 cards in packs today uh, from Copa America or Euro teams. And again, it's going to be all about nationalities, right? That's going to be, you know, it's a lot of the league hype, right? With the top five leagues for Premier League, you know, La Liga, Bundesliga, the top five leagues and team of the season. It's all about those leagues, but it's really going to kind of transition because these tournaments are based on the countries 
it's really going to transition into being about nationality. And that's what I'm very interested in seeing today on this game is depending on what cards come out. Like if that Phil Foden card is very, very hyped up, it's very juiced. If it is Phil Foden, you know, you're probably going to see some English cards react on the market. You're probably going to see French, Germany, Portugal, uh, you know, maybe even Spain cards move up on the market today, depending on which of those items come out, what positions they are and links to those cards because people always love the brand new fresh and hype items that drop on the game so that's one thing i would expect to see today now also inside of the festival of football promo these path to glory items are kind of like you know they'll be in packs now it'll be pack filler for ea since they'll be this will be partially a pack promo uh but also i think we could see uh, and we don't have any other card designs yet for like a special Man of the Match card design. Of course, those wouldn't be dropping until probably at the end of match day one. So I don't think we would see that added just yet. But hopefully we do see some sort of festival football path to glory SBC today on Friday. So Usman Dembele, Javi Martinez, a lot of these SBCs in here are expiring because it is the cutoff and a new promo is starting. Uh, so a lot of stuff is expiring today. So I do think that we will see some sort, maybe even uh, a couple new SBC players. Now, one thing I might be looking forward to today to seeing is a showdown SBC for one of the games in the next couple of days related to the Euros or Copa America. I think that's something that EA needs to take big advantage of. Uh, and I think that's something that they will do. So we could even see multiple player SBCs today because of that. Also, objective players, right? We should see some sort of path to glory objective. Uh, this Lanzini, again, you know, we have an Argentinian card on the loading screen. We've had Tevez, we've had Lanzini. They're kind of pushing the Argentine agenda just a little bit right now, if you've noticed. Uh, but we should see a new uh, card today in objectives as well, as we usually do on the promo Fridays. There's nothing really new or significant with that. Now, one thing I will say is if you want to take the gamble today, since we are feeling 99% sure that this is going to be a pack-based promo and not an SBC-based promo, uh, if you wanted to rock some 80-plus player picks, these are going away, of course, today on Friday. Maybe rock a couple of those. I've got 10 just stacked up just in case, right? You know, you're never going to pack something if you don't give yourself a shot and open some packs. So uh, give myself a shot by opening up a couple of those. And if you wanted to do so, I still think that rares and non-rares are like 750 coins for rares. And, uh, you know, they're not super duper expensive. So that is something that if you wanted to get involved with some of that, you could. Uh, yeah, rares are 750 and I think non-rares are a little bit cheaper than that even. So those are probably going to rise up a bit this morning on Friday because people are going to do some last chance um, upgrade picks to set up for today. Uh, but yeah, I think that's what we're expecting today the most. It's all going to be based around these cards and how the ratings are for these cards. Now, again, we're off to a good start with these ratings, right? Because you see here, 94 rated center attacking men. And it, technically, if you would put this card on this timeline right here, that 94, let's say Phil Foden, would end up being a 98 rated card if they got five wins. And of course, even went on to get their sixth win, getting the five star skill and weak foot upgrade. That would be really sick, right? Now, I don't know if we'll see any cards today that would be a base of 95 rated that would push them to 99. I almost feel like this 94 rated card has to be the headliner of the promo itself, but hopefully all the cards we see today are 90 plus. I mean, we honestly need them to be 90 plus. If you think about what kind of cards might get thrown in today, right? Of course, you're going to go by nations, right? German cards, French cards, English cards, right? You're probably going to have some Argentine, probably a representative from Brazil, right? You're going to have probably all the top nine nations here. There's going to be somebody from each of these nations. Um, in the squad today because again it's all about nationality now it's going to be interesting to see if there's only 11 players is like somebody from denmark is a christian erickson card or a braithwaite card or a yusuf Poulsen, you know or, or some of those guys or you know a belgium card right belgium's not a top nine nation according to fifa here but are we going to see some sort of belgium card today maybe a thorgan hazard or you know plenty of options out there for cards that we could see today and that's why i think it's so exciting and that to me has the summer heat vibes a little bit as well because you'll take some of these cards that maybe didn't have team of the seasons if you remember like summer heat and dombele from last year uh, a card that didn't really have a team of the season level item or didn't get into tots but then give them a tots level boost as a part of this promo as a part of the festival football and all that sort of stuff so that's kind of what i hope what i'm hoping to see today now also with the festival of football promo coming out um i really want to see um, 
EA include some sort of like daily man of the match or like daily SBC. So we had throwback marquee matchups re released yesterday. Um, I don't think that really leads us into anything, but what I really want to see in the next couple of weeks as a part of summer, uh, it's not, not summer heat, but festival of football, I want to see daily daily marquee matchups with featuring one of the games that day, especially for the next like two weeks when we have a game almost every single day, like multiple games per day, just pick one and release an SBC for a pack every single day. EA, that's something that I want to see. And then maybe some sort of like group objective for, you know, maybe some kits, not kits. What am I saying? Maybe for some packs, uh, like a group objective that would be, you know, complete a couple things and get a couple packs uh, you know, a really easy, a grindable thing that you could do for packs here in the objectives as well. I really just hope that they go all out with this festival of football content in FIFA today. I think that's one of the biggest things that I am just hoping to see and hoping for is the content to be all out today. Now, the pack weight is also going to be something that we're really, really looking at today too, because of course I can't get to the store, you know, an easy way through my player picks being right there. But I think the big thing with these cards is going to be pack percentage, right? Now, these are some of the FIFA 18 festival football items and you can kind of tell, right? They were they were boosted up and they were, they were released each match day. So that's one thing we can kind of expect too is after match day one, probably getting a set of, uh, of man of the match cards. Hopefully EA continue with that. And this will be something that will be posted on the EA website today too with FIFA 21 related content. Um, but the pack weight, right? Since team of the season cards are so packable and so cheap in this game, you think about all the cards that have dropped down in value over the past couple of weeks because team of the season cards have just literally crashed the market, right? Uh, because so many cheap cards with insane stats have come onto this game. They have to keep that same mojo with these cards for Path to Glory. These cards need to have team of the season level stats and team of the season level supply in order to be hype. If they're super rare, super duper expensive, then that maybe will cause some issues and not make the promo as hype, in my opinion. So that's one thing that we need to see today. The pack weight needs to be just like team of the season. They need to be packable and they need to be easier to attain, of course, because it's the end of the year as well. Now, again, what are you, what am I expecting to see market wise today? Now let's talk about fodder, right? Cause I've invested in some fodder. I'm honestly, it's, it's kind of crazy. Um, I'm getting lazy sales almost every single hour. I just keep relisting a lot of the stuff way over what it's actual selling price is. And I'm getting lazy sales, but people know that there are probably lightning rounds coming today on Friday. There's probably a few saved up packs, but not that many. You're seeing the fodder market drop off a little bit. Now it's not necessarily low by any means. We were lower earlier last week, but if there's not a lot of hype SBCs today, for whatever reason, if the content is not good and the hype is not there, then you'll probably see some of this fodder drop down even lower, right? 84 is 5,000 coins. They were, you know, seven, eight, nine K earlier this week in the, the heat and the hype of things. 85s were 8K, 86s were 14K. So fodder is still up a little bit for sure. And I think that lightning rounds, unless we get some sort of big SBC today, I think that lightning rounds and supply for this cards on the market would make them drop. But again, I would be 100% interested in investing in some of these cards again this weekend because I think as a part of this promo, Festival Football has been very hype in the past few years. I think that it'll be hype with SBCs because again, I really still strongly feel that we are due for some big time icon SBCs. We have not had icon content for a while. And I think that that sort of stuff could be coming out during festival of football, whether it's player SBCs, icon play, uh, picks, player picks, or just regular icon upgrade packs. I think that's the sort of stuff that we will see over this next month. They'll start releasing some of these uh this stuff that's in the code, right? We're not going to know that it's coming. It's just going to drop uh, because it's already in the code for icon swaps. I think we're going to start to see some of those packs sneak out in the game, and that's going to be another area of the market that will be pretty hyped. But since we have live items coming, people love live items in FIFA. They really, really do. Think about the what if promo that really messed up the market headliners. Another new, uh, you know, promo card is coming today that is live. So there's probably going to be a little bit of panic selling this morning. I would 100% expect to see some prices dropping on the market. 
Uh, and of course, as we usually do on Promo Fridays, and again, especially with the nationalities being a huge thing today, I'm going to be watching icons, right? Because icons are very easy to help link squads together, especially if it's all about the nations, right? So maybe you watch some of your English icons today, maybe some of your French icons. Again, we're still not too far after League One team of the season where a lot of people are still using French links in their teams. Uh, you know, the Usman Dembele SBC, there's a lot of hype with that. So just kind of watch out on those icons today. And then again, stuff that is just getting panic sold that is very rare cards that might have links to upcoming cards. When we see the team drop today, we might be able to look for some panic and look for some cards that are being sold off because of, you know, whatever the case may be, we'll make that decision on the fly. Uh, but just your rare out of pack special cards will be an interesting watch today on this game. Now, also, these ultimate tots cards got really, really low yesterday with rewards. If these guys get low again, I feel like some of them are really cheap. Harry Kane, a big name player playing in the Euros for England. A lot of eyes on that squad. He was 117K earlier yesterday during rewards. If there is panic selling on some of these cards, like Kimmich, like Cancelo, Salah, some of these really rare items, even Teo Hernandez, De Bruyne, 100%. Keep an eye on these because even if they were to have a really insane match day one and they could have a man of the match card coming, I really don't feel like you would see the effect of that until later on into the week because the team of the match, or if we're getting man of the matches and higher rated cards uh, of a certain player, it wouldn't be coming out for a couple days. And these cards are totally in demand right now because, you know, um, people got a lot of reds. They got a lot of cards that they want to add to their team. Uh, you know, even links to these cards too, like Ruben Diaz went up a lot yesterday with the Cancelo being a very commonly card packed uh, from weekly rewards and reds. So like a card like that, something that went up yesterday a lot, Ruben Diaz was 270K. He's now 325. So if a card like Ruben Diaz would drop today and there's not a new center back that is from Portugal or a center back in the Prem that is a part of the new promo squad or an objective or SBC, then that would be a card if panic sold, I would expect to bounce back. So something that went up a lot yesterday that could bounce back today is something that I would be 100% looking for as well in this game today. But I think a lot of people are hyped and I think it's for good reason because, you know, ultimate team of the season was just not a very good promo. We were left wanting more and, you know, SPC wise, content wise, we never got the ultimate tots guaranteed. By the way, if you see that in the code, it's totally possible that could be coming after ultimate tots is over because it did happen like that last year. Uh, but again, I think we're just really, really hoping for hype content today because the Euro starts. There's just a lot of hype that is building with all of this stuff going on. And usually during the summer, whether it's the World Cup or the Euros, the past couple of years where there's been that going on, EA has delivered. So I deliver again. And hey, we're going to be live streaming on Twitch during the day, of course, some foot champs games and also watching the content, watching the market, looking at the new cards, you know, and kind of analyzing that content as it comes out today on FIFA. So if you want to get involved in that, that link is down below in the description. But if you enjoyed this video today, smash a thumbs up on it and tell me in the comments the number one thing you're excited about for Path of Glory and Festival of Football today in FIFA. And of course, if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace.